Hi everybody, hope you are doing good. Let's continue the playlist in which we are going to write the Python programs from the practical list. In this video, we are gonna write the code to check the number whether it is a prime number or a composite number. Alright, let's try to understand what is prime number. Prime number is a number which is divisible by only one and itself. It means it will not have any other divisor other than one and itself. Here are some of the examples of prime number. Let's take one number 5. It is only divisible by 1 and itself. So it's a prime number. Then what about composite number? Composite number is a number which has the divisor other than 1 and 5. Means it will have more than these two divisors. Let's take the number 4. We know always the number will be divisible by 1 and itself. Other than this, this number is also divisible by 2. So it has 3 divisors. The numbers which are not prime number will be composite numbers. Now how to write the code for the same let's check out. We know the first step is to take the input. The input will be any number. Let's consider any number 5. We know that every number is divisible by and itself. So we will start dividing it from 2 and 1 less than that number. It's a repetitive task for that we will use loop. Here is the variable i which will iterate from 2 to 1 less than that number. In the next step we need to check if we divide this number by each value of i and it is completely divisible or not. For that we will use modulo operator. We will take the modulus of number by i if it is equals to 0 means it is divisible. If it is divisible means what? It is not a prime number. If it is not a prime number, it means it is a composite number. The code will look like this. The value of i will run from 2 to 1 less than the number. Using modulus operator, we will compare the remainder whether it is equals to 0 or not. If it is equals to 0 means the number is divisible by i. It means this number has the divisor other than 1 and the number itself. It is nothing but the definition of composite number. After checking for all the values of i, the loop will terminate and we will write the else part of the loop. Number is not divisible by any other number. It means it's a prime number. Alright, it's time to code. Here is the prime.py python file. Let's close the explorer and write the code. The first step is to take the input. Using integer function, we will change the input to integer. Let's write the message enter a number. It's time to write the for loop for i in range will start from 2 and will write number. Ultimately it will be 1 less than the number because end limit is exclusive. Now using if we will check this number is completely divisible by the value of i. If remainder is equals to 0 means it is divisible by the value of i. It means we have divisor other than 1 and the number itself. So the number is not a prime number. It means it is a composite number. Using f string you can format it. Write the variable name in the placeholder which is indicated by curly brackets. The number is a composite number. If the number is divisible by one value of i, no need to check for other values. We will use break statement and come out of the loop. If it is not divisible by any value of i, it will come to the else part of the for loop. It means it's a prime number. So let's print the message. Number is a prime number. Alright, we are done with the code. It's time to execute it and check the output. Let's enter one prime number and check first. So, 5 is a prime number. You can check for other values too. Now, let's enter some other number which is not a prime. We discuss about 4. So, let's enter the same. 4 is not a prime number. It means it's a composite number. The program is working fine. Alright, in this way we check the number is prime number or a composite number. Hope you understood the logic. In case of any doubt, let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, do share it with your friends. 
in the next video we will try to write the code to generate the terms of the fibonacci series so until next time stay curious stay healthy i will see you in the next video